it's Chanel Adams and welcome to my channel! Okay, so I'm trying to actually record this video really quick before the sun goes down, so please bear with me. Okay, so this video is about the best songs to use to study your Spanish. So if you don't know I am studying Spanish, I think, I believe I'm at an advanced level now. I can actually have very good conversations in Spanish with native speakers and I'm so proud of myself. So um, I've actually had this really cool idea and a lot of people who study languages actually use this method. Basically, you're using great music to study the language. So stick around and let's get started with the video. So one amazing song that I use to study Spanish, this amazing song called Yo No Se Mañana por Luis Enrique and oh my gosh it's a great song because he sings so clearly and he actually you know you can actually understand the words I actually was able to understand the words at a pretty intermediate level so I definitely recommend this song it's really really good um, basically he's talking about um, he doesn't know if we're gonna end up together um, there's no telling with this crazy life yo no sé mañana Yo no sé mañana si estaremos juntos, si se haga al mundo. Yo no sé si soy para mí, si serás para mí. Queremos amarnos, no. Yo no sé mañana. So guys, like, I have to first put a disclaimer. I, my favorite music in Spanish is actually salsa. And my second favorite is bachata. Um, I don't know, there's just something about salsa that is just so, so rhythmic. It reminds me a lot of, you know, the African Congo drum, which is one of my favorite um, instruments. And a lot of the songs are about, you know, consciousness, about black empowerment, about, you know, political uprising, you know, that kind of stuff, which I kind of miss in music today. So I'm really happy to have salsa and to learn Spanish has been amazing blessing because now I can enjoy music like that where, you know, in today's music in English, there's not many in mainstream. So I'm really glad to have music like this and it's in the language that I love to learn. So how awesome is that? <laughs> now, the next song, which is one of my favorite songs from one of my favorite artists, Romeo Santos. I mean, who doesn't love him? Like. So um, I love the song because it is a little bit more advanced, but if you take your time with this song, you can actually learn a lot of new vocabulary. So I definitely recommend this beautiful song. And the really, really cool part is that it's featuring Drake and Drake actually sings in Spanish. Like, that's freaking crazy. Let's see. Vivo aniquilado en el espejo, reprimido ardiendo por los celos, te odio que él te haga feliz. Oh my gosh, I love this song so much. I've actually learned so many great words and vocabulary from this song. He's basically talking about um, he lost the girl of his dreams. Um, and he's jealous of her new guy because her new guy makes him makes her happy so you know it's a very beautiful song like one thing about bachata it is so romantic definitely describing the Dominican people it is such a romantic song and you know he talks about how he lost the love of his, love of his life and what girl does not love a song like that you know so I definitely recommend this song it's beautiful Drake sings in Spanish and also Drake has an amazing verse um, I think it's a great song take your time studying this song because there's a lot of advanced words but it's definitely going to give you some great great words to add to your repertoire of your Spanish learning so I definitely recommend this song okay so this next song is a little bit more light and happy and definitely an, an easy song to learn 
I think before I even studied the lyrics, um, when I heard the song, I was able to pretty much understand the basics of the song. But there are some really great words that I even still use today, and I know I got it from this song. Um, I definitely suggest the song. It's very happy. It will encourage you to do great things and I think it's very rhythmic and it's also salsa and from an amazing artist Mark Anthony. Um, he makes really good music. I definitely recommend listening to his songs. He sings very clearly and has very popular songs too. So yes, I really love this song because of its positivity and how easy it is to understand. And yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this song is absolutely beautiful because it's just telling you why cry, why suffer, why suffer through the pain, why? Like, live your life. Life is meant to be lived. Continue doing the things you love. You know, sigue adelante. Keep moving forward, you know? It's a beautiful song. It's so positive. It's actually a remake of a famous French song. Um, but yes, this is a great, great song to learn Spanish vocabulary because it's very easy to follow. The chorus repeats itself over and over and over again. It uses very simple words. And there's a few advanced words in there that will help you learn and strengthen your vocabulary. And it's really awesome to dance to. And I guarantee you that this song will play in any, any Latino uh, party or Spanish party. This song is very popular. So when you learn this song, you'll be able to sing along in pretty much any party, okay? <laughs> so the next song is one of my favorite songs. And it's like pretty much my anthem. Also, it is a very, very famous song. This song you'll also find in a lot of parties. A lot of Latinos know this song. It is pretty much an anthem for a lot of people. It's also a very positive song. It's also Salsa from the Queen, La Reina de Salsa, Celia Cruz. <laughs> so you have to have Celia on this list. Like, you just have to. Um, this song is pretty advanced. Actually, I had to follow along with the lyrics to even know what the heck she was saying but after I was able to follow along a few times my ear got accustomed to how she sang and now I can pretty much sing along with her it's a very good song for this um yeah todo aquel que piensa que la vida es igual el no es así sura hay que vivirla ay no hay que llorar Es la vida, es un carnaval. Es más de yo vivir cantando. Oh, ay. That song is amazing. It always puts me in a good mood. Celia Cruz is the queen. She's awesome. Oh my gosh. So you have to have at least 10 Celia Cruz songs in your in your music library she is amazing. So there's this um really great song. I don't know if this is bachata. Or is this cumbia? Like, please comment below. Latinos, comment below. Let me know. Is this like a bachata song? Or is this like cumbia? I'm not sure, but I really like this song a lot. Um, I think it's pretty simple. I actually never had to study the lyrics. I've just listened to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I was able to pick up pretty much the song. I think it's a great song. It's really sad, but it's kind of like good too. Fuiste mala con mi corazón. Ahora viene a buscarme, amarme. Para mí, ahora. Liberté. Yo, <laughs> I like enjoy myself with these songs because they have such deep meaning. Um, I pretty much like my music to be deep, conscious, talking about something. Te pido de rodillas, luna no te vayas, 
Alumbra de la noche. Ese corazón. Es corazón. Desilusionado. A veces maltratado. No te perdonaré. Si me dejas solo. Con esos sentimientos. OMG, I just love that song so much. So that's like my recent favorite. Like, whoa, it's so beautiful. It's so romantic. Like, how can you not love that song? So um, those are actually my top favorite songs right now. I actually used these songs to learn Spanish, to learn new words, new phrases. So, oh my gosh, it has been amazing sharing the music that I love to listen to in my free time. Also, some of the songs that I use to study Spanish. You know, studying does not have to be this horrible, you know, boring thing. You can have fun while you study. Like, usually, I'm on at my desk and I'm like twerking and writing my <laughs> my notes. You know, studying can be fun. So basically, you know, listen to a song that you absolutely love. It's just much easier when it's a song you love. And you know, write down the words you don't know. If you don't know anything, get that lyrics. You know, print out the lyrics or actually write out the lyrics and then just go ahead and translate each word and see how it's structured and you will learn new vocabulary that way. Like, I actually love this method. It's one of my favorite ways to learn new words and especially get my ear accustomed to the accent and the dialect and you can definitely get some slang words which are important. Um, if you want some more tips on how to learn Spanish, please check out this video here where I'm giving you tips on how to learn Spanish or how to learn another language basically how to study um, I think they're very great tips they've helped me a lot um, some of them I figured out on my own some of them I've learned from other people but all in all they're great tips so please check it out also I'm having an amazing jewelry giveaway that you definitely have to enter um, I'm giving away jewelry and also amazing other products that I will show you in a different video but check out my previous video here where you can have a chance to win some amazing gifts the first gift that I'm giving away is a beautiful necklace from a great jewelry company that I worked with and did an amazing photo shoot for so definitely check out that video and basically how you can sign up for that amazing giveaway so please please check out that video and you'll have your chance to win some free stuff like that's awesome um, so guys thank you so much for watching this video it has been so much fun you know singing around dancing crazy I hope that you truly have enjoyed this video definitely keep studying make studying fun it doesn't have to be boring and thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and comment below what songs are your favorite songs what is your favorite song today to listen to in Spanish? Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe to my channel. Bye. <laughs>